Konnichiwa. Today I'm going up Mount Hachimantai to visit Mato Kozan Mine, which is an abandoned ghost town. It was a sulfur mine and an iron ore mine. It started back in 1914 and it's since closed down. So I'm going to visit the township, have a, a look around and hopefully fly the drones. It's very slippery today. I'm just going slow. Um, because it's, uh, it's actually about one degree right now where we are here and um, we'll just pull over, it's a bit safer. Yeah, it's about one degree where we are right now. Um, so parts of the road have melted. You can kind of see here that there's sort of snow bits and then there's slush bits and then there's ice bits, which makes it really slippery. Um, but it's a beautiful day. You see as we go along these snow shelters which protect the road because uh, without them, the snow would be too deep for the snow plow to even get through. and things um, yeah so I'm gonna put my gear down here and I'll have a look around see if I can maybe get up on the roof do some exploring and uh, see what we can find complex. In its heyday they had uh, nearly 14,000 miners here. They had uh, elementary schools, high schools, they had a big large hall area. Um, there's little tunnels which connect all of the buildings so that in winter and as you can see all the snow drifts and that you can actually get between the buildings and around the various facilities there was a small hospital. And you can do all of that without going outside. Um, all central heating. At the time there was no housing, government housing complexes or anything like that. But uh, these concrete apartment buildings all had running water, they had flushing toilets, uh, central heating, electricity, a lot of creature comforts that uh, typical Japanese people didn't have. So they were well looked after here, um, for such a remote location especially. It's kind of scary walking around here. Obviously all the wood is rotten. A lot of the concrete is rotten too, but it still seems quite structurally intact in the majority of places. But there are spots where you can see the concrete falling away. So it's a little bit sketchy going up uh, high like this, so I just have to be careful where I tread. Kozen is a ghost town in the sense that it's an abandoned town, um, not that it's haunted, but I have actually heard from a few Japanese people that they do consider it haunted and they won't actually come here because of that. So I actually came here in summer and that was quite scary, I got a little bit spooked. Not necessarily because I thought there might be ghosts, um, but because it was quite hard to get in here um, and bears are around and very active in that summertime. And when I first came in, when I walked in to the very first building, I had to climb through some undergrowth and things like that. But you could see that people had been, you could see you know, footprints through the grass and, and uh, undergrowth. And when I went into the very first building, there was like a dark room on the side with a sort of a box in the middle of it. And it looked like somebody had been sleeping there, um, like a homeless person or something, I'm not sure. So I'm not sure whether that was the case or whether it was kids playing or something, but it was like a really dark, wet, 
scary looking room, you know, not the place that you would choose out of all the places you could sleep if you were living here. Um, yeah, so I kind of got spooked and you could hear noises when I was walking around, I could hear different noises. Um, and I actually heard people talking at one stage. You know, and you wonder if there's other people around because people do visit it and have a look. But uh, I'm sure I was on my own. So I guess that spooked me the most, that possibly bear, possibly uh, running into another person and getting fright, or possibly a crazy homeless person or something. Um, but it doesn't feel too bad today. But there are some weird noises going on when you walk around, so kind of checking over my shoulder all the time. All right, well, I've just come outside to go to a different building and it seems like the wind has dropped off a little bit. So while I have a chance, while the sky's still blue, I'm going to put a battery in the drone, see if I can fly a pack, wish me luck. Okay, well, that is it. See you later, Matsuo Kozen. I always enjoy coming here and exploring through the apartment buildings, and it was really nice having a fly. So uh, hopefully I can do it again one day soon when it's not quite so windy. Matane!